Like, I like the bond that you form with your team, but as for the sport itself, I love to score. It's fun. It's really a great way to stay active and have good camaraderie with teammates. Um, I play basketball because I like to play sports. I like to compete and play sports. Yeah. I just like the competition of it. Um, kind of playing against other people that put in as much time as it, or put in as much time that you put in and winning them. Yeah. I play the sport because it's fun. Um, you get out there doing physical activity. Just good competition. Um, I just love playing basketball. It's kind of aggressive, it's kind of not. I think that really helps. It's just always been fun. Just fun with my teammates and our team. I've always loved basketball, and my mom always loved basketball too, so. Like, just great. Awesome. I really like about it, the practices and the things. Because I can't really play soccer, and I really like it. Okay. Um. Success in basketball is more of a whole team aspect as opposed to individual. Yeah. Success is performing to the best of your ability. So not necessarily winning, but you should never lose a game that you should have won. Just doing the best that you can and not having any regrets when you're done. Yeah. If you play your best, if you well, if you do your best, winning usually takes care of itself. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not winning and losing. It's just getting out there, having fun, working hard. Having good effort. So, um, as long as you go out there and try, I mean, it's everything good with effort. You should be good playing your hardest. Um, wins? Wins? Yeah. Wins okay. and, um, just kind of improving as a team and individually. I think it's definitely to do with attitude. If you go out there and you're not giving it your all, then yeah, I think it's fair to be called a loser. But if you go out there and try, then that's really all you can do. Having teams that we're definitely proud of. Well, you name every season you set goals as a team and individually, and if you can meet those goals and still not come up as national champions, then it's still successful. Really not winning and losing. We don't do a lot of winning here, but um, just when you reach a milestone, you can do it, whether it's making good passes, just getting shots in, anything like that, just building blocks. I hate to lose, yeah. so, so that, and just so much of being an athlete is being a competitor. When you compete, you compete to win, right? A few wins would be good, but you know, not suck it all around that. Just improvement. The feeling that you get, like it's sweet to know that for that game you were better than somebody else. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of friends that play on other teams, so just having the healthy competition of knowing who you're up against is a good job. I feel like it affects it in a positive way, where if you lose, you're going to be like, hey, we got to come out harder the next time. Yeah. Rebounding, Rebounding and the occasional block. I love those ones. <laughs> I think just those close games, we've definitely had a few in the past, down to the last few seconds, crunch time. And even if it's not for something big, just, just winning the game would be the drive. Just the look on the other team's faces. I like seeing that. Okay. Yeah, uh, like passing the pass break and getting like big momentum baskets. I, yeah. so. I love to score. Well, I think if you're an athlete, if you if you're a competitor, then you want to win regardless. Yeah. But they they can hinder the way you play, and they can help the way you play. So they can make it easier for you to win, yeah. or harder for you to win. He was really into encouraging hard work. So like, yeah. if we win, we got to work harder to improve on the things that we didn't do as well. And if we lose, we got to work harder to win the next time. Encourage us. Good practices. With our coaches this year, we have a new fresh attitude towards it. We've had the same coaches in the past for a while, and they've kind of set into their own routine.
means of no, this is the way we do it. Thanks. It's yeah. totally ripple effect and what we do kind of impacts what that goes on within the team. I'd say we're all on the same page yeah. when it comes to winning. You all want to win the same kind of way? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, that one kind of relates to when I talked about practice and like working on something and then actually having a click and I guess success in basketball is more of a whole team aspect as opposed to individual. Yeah. My second year, we yeah. played SFU and uh, they were undefeated. So we were going to the game and um, we weren't expected to win it, but they've always been our rivals. Yeah. And uh, it was the last year before they actually moved to Division Two. Yeah. So um, it was a tie game. There was just a little bit of time left on the clock, and yeah. I just really, I said, I wanted to win. I wanted to take it away from them at home. Yeah. We ended up winning the game by two points. Yeah. Second year, when we beat us up here. Because they're they've been undefeated. The previous year we were the only team to beat them, yeah. and then we wanted to do it again. And we did. Yeah. We